Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part four of our series of session on release 3.0 GST module. In the last session, we understood the setting up of HSN, SAC and providing description at various levels in the company. The most important aspect that we understood is the concept of hierarchy and inheritance. We also witnessed the setting up of GST at the company level and we saw how it automatically inherits to the other master. We also changed the GST rate at the stock item level and we also provided GST rate during the voucher entry also. In this session, we will explore more options that the user can enable while setting up GST for their company. Let us go to Tally and start exploring this F11 feature GST enablement configurations. Let us explore more options provided in Tally Prime for GST compliance now. We will go to F11 feature and revisit the set alter company GST rate and other details. So I'm going to press F11. We'll come here and set this option to yes, enter. We learn to set the HSN, SAC and description and also the GST rate at the top of the hierarchy, which is the company level. Now I have set this rate for our use case that we are going to learn today for a GTA. There are more options the company can set now. So I'm going to press F12 configure and this option we had already enabled providing HSN detail, description and the breakup of the tax. So if I click on yes here and when I press control A, we will see the breakup of the CGST and SGST. F12 again, wherever the CES is applicable, you can make this as yes. The next option that we are going to see in today's session is enable reverse charge calculation, which is set to no. And we are going to make this as yes, enter and press control A. By enabling the option, we will notice here that we have a new option where it says applicable for reverse charge and it is set to yes. Let's come to configuration. I will be walking through each of this configuration, not as preference, but in the order of configuration option. I will be covering the impact of these options both as a company, as a supplier and also as a recipient GST dealer. I'm going to save this. Let us understand the impact of this option setting to yes. Firstly, let us understand what RCM is. RCM stands for reverse charge mechanism. RCM is GST calculated and paid by the recipient of goods or services as per the schedule provided by GST. In this case, the seller will not charge GST even though they are GST registered dealer. The normal charge of GST by a selling dealer is called as forward charge. If the company is supplying goods or services under RCM, they can configure here at the company level. By doing so, they can raise all their outward supply invoice without GST charge but tally will auto calculate the amount of gst based on the rate specified here and will reflect in gstr1 with rcm tax amount and will report in table 4b and when you go to gstr3 report the gst liability will not be shown there for the dealer to make the payment just to give you all an idea of list of rcm goods and services the sample of list of goods that you are seeing where RCM is going to be applicable. This list what you are seeing now is the list of services. I've just taken a couple of services for all of you to understand. There's a lot more services which I'm not covering. We are going to take an example of GTA goods transport provider. Now the GTA has two options as follows. You will see here that option one is the GTA opts for reverse charge and the recipient is going to pay GST on RCM. The rate of GST is 5%. The GTA has another option 
where they can opt to pay GST on billing, but if the GTA charges 5% in the invoice, then the GTA cannot claim input tax credit. But if they opt to charge 12% GST, then they can claim ITC. We are taking the use case of GTA not opting to pay GST. This is when this option is going to be enabled. The option is set to yes. And now we will save this option. Control A. I have already created the master for tax invoice to be raised by the GTA under RCM and the transactions of RCM invoice. And we will view the impact of this transaction in the respect to GST returns. This is the income ledger that has been created under sales account and GST configuration is being inherited from the company level. This is the entry the GTA is going to now pass. Invoice is made to a customer local customer select the sales ledger enter we had configured for this company the sales should be on RCM basis even though by mistake if you select the tax ledger we will notice that the tax amount will not get calculated since the tax is on the reverse charge basis I come back here and end of list and then I am going to save this let us view the tax invoice now and we will notice here that the amount is 10,000 rupees there is no GST we will notice here that GST is calculated on the taxable value as per the rate specified. Notice here it very clearly says the amount of tax is subject to reverse charge. So based on this invoice the recipient is going to account this invoice on reverse charge which we will see how this is handled by the recipient for reverse charge mechanism in the next video. Now let us view the GST return. First we will view GSTR1. We will notice here the taxable amount is 10,000. The CGST is 250. SGST is 250 and this will appear in the GSTR return table 4B as outward supply on reverse charge basis. Even though the liability is shown here, when we go to GSTR 3B, which is going to provide information of the tax collected and the input tax credit eligibility. So let's view GSTR 3B. Notice here, even though in GSTR 1, it was reflecting the GST liability but in GSTR 3B return we will see that there is no liability for this dealer since the liability falls with the recipient. This is how you can configure GST for an RCM supplier under F11 feature. In this session I hope you would have understood the configurations how the businesses can set up based on their GST compliance requirement. We have taken an example of GTA, how easy and simple it is for the GTA to manage their GST compliance through tally. In the next session, we will understand how the reverse charge is going to be applicable for a normal dealer and how the reverse charge management is going to be handled for that company in tally prime. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.